welcome back to my channel so today is a little different today i'm going to be doing a trader joe haul and you're going to see a couple of things that are gluten free and dairy free because i am actually trying to go dairy free and gluten free now this is just me trying things out just testing the waters trying a few products so i haven't like fully gone dairy free or fully gone gluten free but starting september 1st i do want to go dairy free and gluten free for 30 days so that's just what's going to be happening but i'm just going to try my best and that was the ac that i just turned off so and i wanted to show you there's no particular order because the things the items are still in the bags but I will show you, I'm gonna just start with whatever I find. And I'll start with this. So this is the Trader Joe's Organic Stone Ground Yellow Corn Taco Shells. And these are actually, so they're organic. Are these the gluten-free? Of course. I thought these were gluten-free. Okay, so I don't think these are gluten-free. All right, I'll double check on those. Let's see what else. We have our chicken broth. This is gluten-free. This is the organic free-range chicken broth. Low-fat, low-calorie, gluten-free. Then we have these organic blue corn tortillas with sprouted amaranth, quinoa, uh, quinoa and chia seeds, and it's gluten-free. So these are some chips that I'm excited to try. We'll see about that. Then I just got some regular like Trader Joe's roasted garlic marinara sauce. I've never tried none of this stuff. And the taco thing, the taco shows, I gotta double check because I could have sworn it was gluten free, but maybe I didn't read it correctly. So we got some organic green apples. They're, I think these were like $4.99 or $5.99 something like that then we got two pounds of sweet potatoes because i love sweet potatoes and i can't wait to make sweet potatoes and the sun is right in my face i got two avocados so that's that then my husband wanted to try these he did and he let me have some it actually tastes so good they're on um, the trader joe's gluten-free cinnamon coffee cake muffins and they're moist sour cream cake with cinnamon bites and brown sugar. So it's gluten free, but obviously it has sour cream in it. Um, it contains milk and egg, so it's not dairy free. But guys, like I said, I'm just testing out waters. So he wanted to try that, so I had a little piece. Then we had we got some salami. Then I'm gonna try Trader Joe's vegan spinach and cashew ravioli. It's thin stuff thin stuff pasta with spinach and a velvety cashew filling. So I'm gonna be trying that. I'm interested in and seeing what this tastes like. Let's see what. Then we got some zucchini squash. Um, vegetable fried rice I wanna try. I bought the Trader Joe's Busher Shop All Natural Lean Beef Stew Meat. And it just says no antibiotics or added hormones ever, all vegetarian feeds. So we'll try this. I don't know what I'm gonna make with that. And I bought some shrimp. I bought some chicken wings, or no, chicken breast tenderloin. I bought some bananas and I bought these mini vegetable samosas. So I actually like samosas. So I'm excited to try this, but I've, I've had them at um, an Indian restaurant, but I've never had them like at home. Then my husband wanted to try the mandarin orange chicken bacon serve. So I'll make him that one of these days. And then we're gonna try the gluten and dairy free pancakes home style so i'm excited to try those 
and I'm also excited to try the vegan enchilada casserole. So I'm gonna see how that goes. All right guys, so I bought some spring mix, some baby, baby spinach. Baby I don't know spinach. what's wrong with my words. What's I bought some anyway? organic strawberries. Some butternut squash, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Brussels sprouts. I actually love Brussels sprouts. And I got this Trader Joe's carrot ginger miso dressing. And I can't wait to try this. It's vegan and there's nothing dressy about Trader Joe's carrot ginger miso dressing, except that you use it to dress salads. But I actually saw a review on this and it's supposed to taste really good. And I've gone to like hibachis in the past where they give you that little salad and then they give you a dressing that looks like this. So I'm wondering if that's similar to, to what I've had. And then this is not for me, this is for my husband, is the organic cold brew coffee. So we'll see how that tastes. I'll, I'll ask him once he tries it, cause I won't. I got some organic whole carrots. And Light Life Smart Dogs, plant-based hot dogs. Again, the light here is not good. And then a vegan caramelized onion dip. Never had any of these items at all. So I am excited to try. So with things like this, like the hot dogs, plant-based, what we decided to do when we went to Trader Joe's today was let's look around, let's shop around, let's look at the items that they have, anything that calls our attention, let's give it a try. For example, like the vegan enchilada or um, this plant-based hot dog we want to try. The, the gluten-free muffins, like little things like that. Gluten and dairy-free pancakes. It's just to, how do I say this? Just try it out, you know, just try it out. Let's just see. But I'm actually really excited to try this vegan caramelized onion dip. It's dairy-free. Because like I said, once September hits, I am gonna try my hardest to go uh, dairy-free and gluten-free but because i'm not so much like knowledgeable on gluten-free yet like I've, i'm doing my research on it i know that it's gonna take me some time to adjust to do all this because i don't want to go too crazy with it right but what i do want to know is if you are gluten-free or dairy-free what items do you suggest that I try or what products do you think I should try? Or if you have any recipes that you can pass along, that is recipes that my whole family can try. That way I'm not like just cooking for myself, which is sometimes what I don't wanna do because then I get tempted to eat what they're eating. So if they can kind of just have some meals with me, then I feel like things will be a little bit smoother. So I'm excited because the reason why I'm doing this is I know that I get really like, I'll just say like sick. Like I feel completely bloated. I get pains in my stomach. It's just a lot. And I've noticed that it's because of dairy. And if you follow me on Instagram, I was talking about that before. When I was young and I had to go to a, an allergist, I was allergic to so many things. And I remember one of the things that my mom had to do was change my milk to lactate so that's when i was little and as i got older like in my teens i started eating like crazy anything and i never really like paid attention but now for some reason that i'm in my fourth pregnancy i drunk milk and my mouth started burning like itchy i I've, I've gotten completely bloated when i'm having cheese when i'm having milk it's just a lot of little things like that that are affecting me and I've 
realize that that's been happening to me for so many years but for some reason now it's like worse so i'm just gonna try it i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna give a hundred percent of myself to try it but because i'm like just trying this now if i eat something that by mistake it had dairy in and i didn't know then you know obviously i have to learn but i'm gonna try so keep me in prayers guys and like i said if you are dairy free or gluten free or both or vegan let me know in the comments any tips anything all right guys so that was my little trader joe's haul and i don't even know what i'm gonna cook tonight <laughs> Alright guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.